two types of harmonics on the guitar, which are very straightforward to play and add a huge amount of pizzazz and sparkle to a piece of music. Um, the first type is a natural harmonic. These fall on the nodal points of the string. The straight, most straightforward natural harmonic is at the 12th fret. So the finger touches the string above the 12th fret and lifts off to let it vibrate. Now the right hand, I would suggest using the nail to create the harmonic, um, like a plectrum almost, and it gives a very, very clear sound. Other nodal points, fifth fret. Not as clear, so perhaps we move closer to the saddle to create a, a, a clearer harmonic. Seventh fret. Interestingly, the nodal points of the string are mirrored. So where we have a harmonic on the seventh fret, we also have one on the 19th. Exactly the same. There are many nodal points on the string and you can, you can experiment to find out where they all are. And clearly some aren't as strong as others. And so that's where the nail really comes into play and playing near the saddle to get a clearer note. The other type of harmonic is an artificial harmonic. This is when you fret a note with the left hand and play the harmonic with the right hand. So in this case, I'm going to do an octave harmonic, 12 frets higher than the fretted note. Here we have C on the first fret, 12 frets higher, I'm on the 13th fret. I place my index finger on the string above the 13th fret and I'm going to pluck using my thumbnail. And then you release to let it vibrate. You can actually create the sound with either the thumb or the ring finger, whichever is most convenient and creates the best tone. The most important thing to remember is that you must be plucking as far away from that index finger as possible. So not right up to it, not much going on. As soon as you move away, nice and clear. A very straightforward exercise for this would be a simple chromatic. And then perhaps go to the B string. G string, etc. Another way of practicing this would be to play some chords. So let's choose A minor. All I've done there is play 12 frets higher than the fretted notes. So 12th fret, 13th, 14th, 14th, 12th. And again, regular rhythm, nice and slowly. So an arpeggiated harmonic sounds complicated, but it's really straightforward. So there you go. Um, so basically, it looks like magic. How does that finger do that? Um, I'm using the index finger to touch over the 12th fret very gently and I'm running down my hand in that angle with my ring finger the actual nail strumming at the same time so the ring finger is doing that strumming the index is over the nodal point Thank you.